Hi, welcome to the Capital Region Skinny, brought to you by the Greater Capital Association of Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. The chatter about housing price bubbles has increased this summer, as observers attempt to predict the next shift in the residential real estate market. It is far too early to predict a hard shift away from higher prices and lower inventory, but the common markers that caused the last housing market downturn are essentially present. Wages are up, but not at the same pace as home prices, leading to the kind of affordability concerns that lead to lower sales at lower prices. At the same time, demand is still outpacing what is available for sale in many markets. Pending sales increased 17.7% from July 2017 to 1,256 for the month. Closed sales increased 7.5% from July 2017 to 1,161 for the month. Sales were up compared to last year, which is an indicator of solid demand and ample supply. Prices were up compared to last year at this time. The median sales price increased 3.9% to $224,500. Although price increases are likely to stay firm during the summer months, there could be some leveling out or declines if home prices reach unattainable levels for the average first-time home buyer. Inventory levels market-wide decreased 13.1% to 5,341 units. An increase in the number of housing units for sale and continued low mortgage rates are two key factors that can contribute to market balance. Month's supply of inventory was down 16.1% to 5.2 months. Supply is still trending downward for the time being, yet some national indicators show the possibility for improvement over the horizon. Percent of original list price received at sale rose to 97.1% since last year. Consumer spending on home goods and renovations are up, while more people enter the workforce. Employed people spending money is generally good for residential real estate. Meanwhile, GDP growth was 4.1% in the second quarter, the strongest showing since 2014. Housing starts are down, but that is more reflective of low supply than anything else. With a growing economy, stronger lending practices, and the potential for improved inventory from new listing and building activity, market balance is more likely than a bubble. That's the Capital Region Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.